The day we rescued Dream, I remember I cried and I kept saying, I'm so sorry, because the things that we see people do to horses, but she was so trusting and she came with me. You could see how weak she was, but you could see a tiny spark of life in her eyes. I felt like she wants to fight and she wants to come back. And that little light just grew and grew and grew every day. And I just sat on her hay tub and I stroked her neck and told her that everything was going to be all right. He was safe now. <laughs> She was a branded Mustang and was probably the most emaciated, skinniest horse that we had ever taken in. But we just jumped in with both feet and we took all the precautions that we could. There's a beautiful board with the times of her feeds. The dream team. Please read dream schedule for feeds. Every day was a reward. Hello. How are you feeling? I used to get out of bed the minute the sun came up and I would walk down and if I didn't see her, I would be like, Dreamy Dream. Good morning, Dreamer. Hi, pretty girl. Then she started waiting for me at the fence. Good morning. Hello, good morning. The sun's coming out just for you, my girl. Just for you. Hello. Good morning. It was probably the biggest connection I've ever had with a horse. It almost felt like we were going through this together. By six months, she really was looking almost back to normal. Hello, girly. Hello, dreamy. Hello, dreamy. Oh, you're such a good girl. Shall I show everyone how well you're looking? Shall we show everyone? She's just really come back to life in such an extraordinary way. All the little firsts the first time that she could have as much hay as she wanted. Here's Dream this morning. Stop dropping all your hay, you silly girl. Or the first time that she rolled and got back up. Then the first time that she ran. <laughs> all of those things were so meaningful. They were steps in her recovery. Once she got her energy back, it was almost like she didn't know what to do with it. It was kind of hard to contain her for a little while, but we just did it. We let her get it all out. Joe Pesci was a young donkey that we rescued from Texas. From the first time that Dream met him, she was madly in love. It was like her entire life now revolved around Joe. Suddenly he had this helicopter mom that would follow him everywhere. She just loved him. I think she's a bit of a caretaker herself. She's a miracle. She has such a special place in my heart. All the horses here have stories, but there's something about dream spirit that just inspires us to rescue more and to do it for a dream because she loves her life so much. It's a gift that we want to give other horses. Dream did so much to change me inside, to almost open my heart even wider, to kind of fill me with more compassion and love towards these horses and just vow to do more to help them. Like, comment, and subscribe.